now we need to go back. Uh, because there is a power bomb. Uh, power bomb. <laughs> uh, power bomb. <laughs> there's, a, there's a power bomb here that required. They intended you to uh, uh, vertically shine spark your way through it and collect it on the way up. However, that will cause you to break through a ceiling of speed uh, blocks that will immediately regenerate. And that locks you out. And your next room after that is a navigation, is a navigation room. room. What a soccer punch. Uh, so Soccer punch? That's a dick punch. We need to get that power bomb. I said it again. Oh, fuck this power. Uh, fuck this power, by the way, because of those fake blocks. Okay, that didn't take as long as last time, so happy about that. And that's all that matters. So we need to get the power bomb a little bit of an unorthodox way. It still requires speed booster, but we're not going straight up. We're actually going diagonally and then awkwardly jumping past speed booster blocks so that we can still find a way to back down. Or you want to just make that the last one you get? No, because uh, it's really out of the way. And when we do this pathway, uh, when we when we finish all the backtracking, the last area that we revisit is sector one. What's that door you passed? Uh, what? 12. That's a safe room. Okay. Yeah, any room that I'm looking like I'm deliberately ignoring is most likely a safe room or a recharge room because I don't need it. I don't need it. I right, don't so here's, need it. So here's it is. Um, I'm going to charge here. Jump back up. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Just time enough. This is, yeah. You're, they intend you to vertically shine spark up through this and you collect the power bomb on the way up. But if you do that, you're locked into a navigation room. Thankfully, they put a fake block there, intending that you know, in just in case you get somehow stuck in yeah. that corridor, so that you're finally you're able to get a way out. Thankfully, we can. So now we can finish off sector six and not have to worry about being locked out. Unfortunately, this does mean we have to backtrack our way through the entire thing. Darn. And not, you know. Oh wait, I can. Oh, you fucking tease. <laughs> now, I actually hate these enemies a lot because every time you hit them, they release gas, and. You I know, know the feeling. Even as they <laughs> even as they die, they release the gas and it hurts you before they die. And you're like, Fucking can't you just go in peace. Okay. Nope. This room is familiar. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like I, I feel was like, just here. I feel like you were just there and had and a bad get, time. And now you got Vietnam War flashbacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what the robot was? Yeah, that was the robot. <laughs> the robot's name was Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens when you play the Charlie Charlie challenge. You get that. <laughs> So, so, we're, so where are we robot? heading to we'll next, actually? You. We're now heading into the area that connects Sector 6 to... I want to think... I think Sector 3 is the next area. Or it could be Sector 5. Uh, oh, actually, actually, it's here. There we go. <laughs> Sweet. It reminds me of those warp rooms in uh, Donkey Kong Country for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, Advance specifically? Yeah, like when you got in those warp rooms, you look like you went to another dimension. <laughs> It's really weird. It's like, it's, like, it's like one of the only times in the game where you're like outside the station. Like yeah. You're, in, yeah. you're in the tunnels and you can actually see you know, space and shit. And actually, uh, coming up with the Sector 5 going into Sector 3 tunnel, we're stepping outside the station to get a power bomb. Uh, it's here. I just like it. That's what NASA calls it, too. <laughs> like, dude, look at all that space and shit. Yeah. Space and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here it is. Yeah, and, you know, and this is really late into the game mentioning this, but in Fusion, in starting with Fusion and beyond, you can tell if there's an item inside the room based on your map. If it's a large circle, that means there's an item in here that you didn't get yet. Yeah, right. And once you collected it, it becomes a small dot. You know, in Super Metroid, they, they use a small dot for every item. Yeah, pretty much. So you much. don't know if you got it already or not. But, um, okay, we're going to backtrack a bit here because we need to make those blocks form again. And then get a Shine Spark here. Doesn't really matter. This is, this is supposed to be like a early game energy tank, but it doesn't make any sense to go out of Come your way here just this early in the game. Yeah, because it's much easier to get it now. There's nothing over there to the right, so. So you need two more energy tanks. Uh, two more energy tanks, and oh, I actually stored that. Nice. What if you some shit like the fire still yeah, right? you? <laughs> <laughs> you hit the fire like a solid wall. <laughs> you know, years ago that burned me. Yeah. Thankfully, I have a better suit now. And even then, it still creeps <laughs> into my soul. <laughs> this should be enough for uh, a little speed booster here. That's a nice. But we're not done yet. Power bomb because I forget this fucking one all the time. Oh, there it is. 
Yeah, you don't. I don't know why they put him here. <laughs> <laughs> Probably to give you another means of getting yeah. that. There's you don't no have way the you can, attack. But yeah, but you can't get to that until after you've gotten a power bomb, which means you've and, gotten everything else. And high jump. Yeah. yeah. So like, there's really no reason for that guy to be there. Okay. Who knows? Maybe this game does have some sort of a What's to the right? speed running if, setup. Uh, we're going to the right and as a way to get out of here, but we need to actually go back here because uh, this is one of those power bomb detours. All yeah, these it's these expansions that really feel like they didn't have any thought put into them. You know, it's like you know, let's just put a power bomb block here in an area you really have no reason to go back to at all, and then let's just put another power bomb here. Again, yeah, because most of these awards, by the way, are fucking power bombs. You know, graphically, this is very distracting. Yeah. It is. A it's a great screensaver. No, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> this blows as a screensaver. Like, what eyes are you using? But, uh... It's like they, they give you power bombs. It's like, congratulations, you found a secret passage. Have a power bomb. But I already have, like, 72. Well, now you have 74. <laughs> Alright. All right. That's two more than 72. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, that, sure. that's, that's two power bombs you didn't have previously. Exactly. You're absolutely right. I still think it blows. <laughs> That's what they do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, duh, they're power bombs. No, they don't. They go whoosh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're fucking cabbage machines, man. <laughs> they taste like power bombs. These are all areas that we could revisit earlier. And actually, those oh, those blocks right there that those creatures are on are fake blocks. Uh, I think they intended you to use freeze ice, missiles yeah. to, you know, make a bridge. Uh, but no, <laughs> wait for space jump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Just make it easy on yourself. Actually, I gotta break these with screw attack and then get the speed booster charge because now we're heading out of sector. Uh, we're pretty much almost done with cleanup. Three, three now, right? Yeah. Where are we going now? Nice. I like to throw all of this. Just reaches out. You just missed something. Yeah, you yeah. I know. We have to. We, we can't. I can't stop in the middle of a shine spark. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> you know what I'd like to see in a See, in now another... I'm at the point of the game where my mind starts racing, and I'm like, did I forget something? Yeah. Did I forget <laughs> something here and there? Because I see, I, I noticed that I have one energy tank left, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, that's in Sector 3. I have nothing to worry about. Um, what so, about missiles and power bombs, huh? You, the last three missile expansions are in Sector 1, the last area we're revisiting. So, you know, it's really cool that everything's, like, in the way. Mm-hmm. You know, in that in that regard, it's like one of the rare instances where everything is in the way. <laughs> Assuming you go from sector four to six to six to five to yeah. five to three to three <laughs> to one, everything's right in the way. <laughs> oh, I did not want to screw attack down there. Get back up there. That was close. That was really close. Another fucking power bomb. <laughs> but now we have to. Uh, now this we got to go back to the right. This is your reward for not falling down there. Yeah. <laughs> Health or a power bomb? It was a hyper beam, <laughs> but you didn't make it the first time. We downgraded to power bomb. <laughs> Fuck, man. No, you didn't get here in under one hour. Yeah. <laughs> so speed runner you are. <laughs> Did you see that box fight? This guy can't <laughs> speed run. <laughs> So what's all right? Anything else? There we go. Yeah, we're done. Sector three. Yeah. Now we're back to where we started. See, sector back to one. one. Yeah, it all comes back to one. And now we're getting. Oh, wait, there we go. <laughs> it's always screw attack blocks. The record. Ah, huh. that looks familiar. That's new. Hmm. Actually, that's old. That's my Metroid Two reference. You know, we're back in sector one, the SR388 ecosystem. Metroid shells on the floor? That can only mean one thing. Uh, Mother Queen? There's a Metroid out there naked somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Someone forgot just, their towel. Just, <laughs> just the three red things and the claws. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, though? It can, With, um... In Super anything Met else in there? In Super Metroid. No, we're done. Uh, that was the that was the last mission expansion. And you got all the power bombs. Yeah. we. Got, well, no, there's actually one power bomb left. In, um, Careful. Careful. Okay, just making sure. Checking the map one last time. You don't need a. You're you're okay with going to the um. Yeah, you're almost at the nav room. Yeah, we're yeah we're at the well the the last uh, the last power bomb is uh is on uh, on the way to the last area of the game. Okay. okay. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Yes. So here's the thing. The Galactic Federation are on their way to the VSL station because they have taken interest in the X-Parasites. They really think that they have a lot of potential with their ability to mimic hosts, their intelligence, their memories. 
So they're on their way to collect some specimens, and Sam is logically sneaking X. out of their goddamn mind. X here, Senator the Future. Scientists still don't get the point of leaving dangerous aliens <laughs> the fuck alone. Yeah, the same scientists who learned this lesson when they tried to do the same thing with Metroids. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but maybe we'll get it right this time. <laughs> you know, that's like <laughs> maybe we were, maybe yeah, they weren't being stupid enough. But that John, was a different development team. <laughs> John, this is science fiction. Nothing always goes right. Yeah, well, nothing interesting anyway. <laughs> you, there's no science fiction movie where like, oh this all worked out perfectly here's the thing though that i think that i think i can sort of justify why the federation don't seem to be afraid of trying to collect x specimens because let's remember the people that administered the vaccine the cure to samus it was the galactic federation and they made it out of a culture of metroid cells which they've been breeding they probably figure they have... Which they only got after yet. sacrificing how many people to get that? Yeah, I know, but it doesn't matter. It's for the sake of science, they're going to do as much as they want to get results. <laughs> so they probably have oodles of the Metroid vaccine right now, ready to be administered at any point should an ex-parasite come close to them. And if it's anything like Samus, if they get the Metroid vaccine administered to them, that means they can probably absorb ex-parasites too. And it there might, you go. It might even be a thing where you have to get injected to work with the ex-parasites. Yeah. It's like, you want to go out to the experts, right? okay, you're going to need your mandatory Metroid vaccine mm-hmm. injection, you know? We inject you with Mantis Venom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Portal 2 reference? Portal 2. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, the good well, news we do is have something for you, a, an army of giant An army Mantis of Mantis men. men. <laughs> <laughs> J.K. Simmons made that fucking game. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is the the big twist. It turns out that the AI we've been talking to, the one that Sam has named Adam, because the the, the blank stoic computer reminded him of the blank stoic man. The Coleco. Yeah, it turns out to be Adam itself. Like I say, it's up because it's a computer, it's not a man. Or just learn Adam's behaviors and react accordingly. Yeah, that's a good point to too. manipulate yeah. her. Yeah, to manipulate her. Right, that's a good point. Um, oh, science fiction. Which means that so the Federation directions. doesn't need this space station. <laughs> you know what? Blow it up. <laughs> Kaboom. Okay. There has well, to be X parasites somewhere out there. Based on the shape of the space station, now you have to go to each of the struts and disarm the bomb. Yeah. <laughs> nah, fuck with it. We're going to take the fat man around and blow Peter Stillman up with him. <laughs> <laughs> Big leg Pete go. Diffusing his soul. Diffusing his, his sins. Soul. It's diffusing his sins. <laughs> God, that was our yeah. target. <laughs> Ryden, disarm the bombs and the struts. Before the Metroids get you. <laughs> Metroid hey, fusions whoa. and face off with your own mortality. So, whoa, this game got interesting. <laughs> Damn. Destroying all the small Metroids activates a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Metroid 2. Yeah. Well, in a sense, we're kind of going to see. Yeah, that is. It's Metroid 2 in a nutshell. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, you know what? Um, no, wait, 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 wait. Where the fuck are you going? Okay, yeah. I'm you're going up. Right That's it. You're I'm, done. I'm getting the first part of the game combined with <laughs> mixed up with the last part of the game. <laughs> I think I got to head to the navigation room now and talk to Adam. Uh, no, I don't actually. Yeah, you need to go home. Well, I think you just need to go up. The room bottom to that is a recharge station, I believe. Okay. You know, sometimes I want to instinctively say map room. I was like, but there are no map rooms. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> because you automatically get the map to the area yeah. before you even head into this place. About time they figured that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was always one of those things that you had to find the map to things, and it just drove me nuts. Like, you want me to save your lives? Could you give me a map? And maybe Even then, it didn't, show you, it didn't show you everything. You had to go out of your way for a map room, but it only gave you, like, basic areas, not yeah. hidden areas. Oh, shit, Sa- Sax. Yeah, here yeah. we go. Sax is here. Now we can finally fight the thing because we have a weapon that's able to penetrate armor. You know, yeah, this ain't, to mention, you this got ain't the health. shit. Yeah, the thing is, is that, you know, they the computer advises that you can't really fight the thing until you get, like, plasma beam or something like that because you can't hope to penetrate that armor with uh, missiles. So we finally get it, and, yeah, it's right. I mean, we're... <laughs> wrecking this shit up. Oh, it's starting to glitch out. Yeah. <laughs> He's spazzing out. Oh, there he goes. Delicious comeuppance. Yeah, so look at this thing. Oh, boy. Look, look at what it mutates into. Whoa. And if you were actually paying attention to it, you know... Yeah, good. I two-shot at it. Um, nice. Nice. You remember in the beginning of the game 
when Samus first encountered the Axe Parasite? Yeah. What monster did it come out of? The small hopping thing. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That parasite went inside Samus. And when it became the SAX and I mutated it, it became a combination of Samus and the first creature it, it hosted. Huh. Wow. Again, a nice little detail that you really don't really pay attention to, but it's still nice to think about. Did I hit that? Yeah, I don't. Did you? Yeah, I did. Okay, I counted. Ding dings. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. Oh, what a dick. Now they become self aware. What shit time is it? <laughs> it took the last one to finally realize I could just leave. Yeah. <laughs> and fuck this. Toodle you. Three minutes. I don't want to be absorbed. I'll go into her arm. That'll work. <laughs> All right, or three minutes to get out of this area. Thankfully, they lock a lot of doors. Yeah. <laughs> there's, not much, uh, there's not much you can really go. It's like you go to the wrong door. Wrong door, dipshit. <laughs> As you can tell, like, they pay attention to the door here. Like, it opens and it closes, and now it's, like, permanently shut. So you can't backtrack anywhere. <laughs> it's like Super Metroid Fusion. <laughs> it's super linear. So where do you got to get to your ship? Yeah, we're heading back to the BS. Well, I was say, yeah, we're getting past all this BSL. <laughs> uh, getting back to the ship. Bullshit load. Yeah, we're getting. Uh, we got to get out of here. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't like being caught up in explosions. If you do, you're gonna be BSL. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> S.O. I'll only be S.O. That's the name of a part. I don't know what part, but the name one of those parts like that. Like, like they just they just broke the floor up just just so you can't run. Yeah. Oh, oh tits. Oh, 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 hello. Whoa. That's an Omega Metroid from Metroid it 2. Is. Oh. Damn. <laughs> That's wow. a big Omega Metroid from Metroid 2. Wrecked your shit yeah. like in Metroid 2. The sounds it makes, though. This is really weird, though, because, you know, if you recall in Metroid 2, Omega Metroids were vulnerable by the back for missiles. This Omega Metroid was engineered by the research station. So now this it, one could be here right in front. It got, no, it, it got rid of its immunity to missiles outright. Hmm. But its vulnerability to ice has been increased tenfold. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now we got our now ice real. beam back. Now you're fully powered. Yeah. <laughs> now I got the power. Nintendo power, bitches. <laughs> You got the touch. Anyway, so this is supposed to be like the big climactic fight. It's not supposed to be that much of a problem because, you know, you're pretty much done the game already. That yeah. said, I mean, if you're not going 100%. Yeah, you could get here with half the health that you have right now. In yeah. which case. Be careful. Yeah. Because Omega Metroid Swipe does a tank each. Ugh. And oh, if you're doing like a 1% run where you don't have any energy tanks, one hit Beware. go. Beware. You, yes. you don't get hit. Sorry, I just wanted to, you know, <laughs> enjoy your ice power. Accelerate the explosion. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to trash this place. Yeah. And then blame it on the planet. <laughs> and then blow that up, too. <laughs> Fuck this place. I think you just did. Yeah, you did. That's the, That was the plan. The plan you, was. With a small space station, you blew up the I entire planet. I don't get how it works because we triggered the self destruct sequence for the BSL station. And then by causing it to collide with SR388, we not only caused BSL to explode, but the entire planet. You cause a geothermal reaction, which blows up the planet from its core. I, it's the basis of half of the supervillains. <laughs> I, I recall the great Lex Luthor to, saying, <laughs> if you can do this, this will happen. Was to drill a hole into the center of the Earth and insert a nuclear device, which yeah. would cause a chain reaction that blows Assuming, up the Assuming you know, the station doesn't explode upon impact on the planet. So now, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so basically, the military minds love James Bond movies. Yeah. <laughs> that explains all the gadgets they give you. <laughs> also explains why your rope, why your AI kept locking you in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> but in the end, the human soul will ever reach for the truth. Well, how do we get all this just from what we did? So you know what? That last that last mission I did, where I blew up the space station, really made me think about life. The ship could only be started manually, yet before I faced the Omega Metroid, the ship moved on its own, guided by someone's hands. Is it possible? Adam? No. no those creatures you put on, <laughs> Runny and Jumpy, they ran the ship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Runny well, and Jumpy. Yeah. Runny, Runny and, and Jumpy. Why weren't they piloting yeah, before the ship? The, you, know, the, the, you know, their actual, like, biological names is Starty the Shippy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... They, uh yeah, do your part. Yeah, it's, uh... It's thanks to the animals from Super Metroid that... They were able to guide the ship to Samus to pick her up before leaving. Yeah, I, I like that idea. Hmm. I see a TV I show mean, underwear. This is like a Disney show in the making. As, 
it's as fault it's our fault as humans in the real world thinking that you know these monkey like creatures in this bird are restricted to how earth birds work and yeah, earth right. monkeys work so we're thinking oh like monkeys and birds can't do that well, I'm a monk- I mean, These a thousand monkeys one? can write Shakespeare with a typewriter yeah. if you give it some time. That's been proven false. Yeah, but, uh, uh, you know, but we don't know how, you know, space monkeys and space birds work. <laughs> Maybe they can control yeah. ships. Uh, space monkeys and space birds can't fly ships. Runnies and jumpies yeah, can. Yeah, they can. Hence why they're awesome and why it makes saving the animals of Super Metroid the canonical ending. Yep. So uh, if you deliberately run past those guys, you're wiping fusion out of... Mm-hmm. Uh, the cannon. You're 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 destroying. So, yeah, your I, I mean, after uh, I mean, after other M, maybe way, for the way better. to try and retcon it. Ah, <laughs> uh, but ladies and gentlemen, that is Metroid Fusion, and now I got this sudden pain in my heart. <laughs> it's making me think I missed the power bob somewhere in there. But uh, yeah, it's, well, you said we'll, we'll see at the end. <laughs> it's like, or maybe a heart I'm pretty attack. Pretty sure I'm not you sure. had uh, seventy two. Yeah, I I don't, you know, I, I but I always get like this at the end of every Metroid game. It's like wondering. Whether or not did I miss an item? Because again, I did the f- same fucking thing I did in the Nintendo Town. I, I forgot the missile expansion in the uh, corridor in Sector Four. And you got that you one, know? though. And I got it on the way in like the two practice runs I did before this. And I was like, "Where is that? Where, where does my mind go when I'm let's playing shit?" Um, You're focusing on beating the game I'm and trying to be provide human right? Earth's commentary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think that's, that's part of it. Is is you focus on commentary and you sort of forget what's happening. Yeah, dude, that's why I got it's, bo- it's th- dude, thing dude. That's I, like at least twenty percent of why the hell I fucked around in Co Veronica. The thing is, is that like, one thing I am trying to work on when it comes to like me just being a, a, a commentary based story is like I, I realized like throughout the years that I'm very reactionary. You know, I don't bring up topics; I discuss topics with people who bring it up on their own fruition. Yeah. You know. Um, it's one thing I'm learning to try to not do, you know, but, right. uh, yeah, maybe there's a reason why I have Elliot and Matt on today. <laughs> okay, she's go. stripped right, naked, she that's a hundred. the armor, right. that, no, no, that's under two hours. Oh. Yeah, I missed an item. What item did I miss? Uh, because this is not the, um, this is not the 100% under two hours ending. What is it? Oh! <laughs> it I knew yeah. something was missing. <laughs> what what did I, I miss? I could have sworn you got when you grabbed the power it bomb. Was a it was said seventy, bomb. but I thought you had already used two. It was no, yeah. but I went to a recharge room. No, that's what it was. When I got the recharge uh, and it was at seventy, I was like, something's wrong. I'm missing a power bomb. But which one did I miss? Oh, quickly <laughs> to the power bomb hole. Yeah. <laughs> Can you get a power bomb transition on that? I can try. Okay. Just We're not ending until we get that full ending image. I knew, no, because actually, before we cut, the ending image for when you get 100% under two hours is a different pose for Zero Suit Samus. Where it's just like, it's a, well, I don't really know it's much of a difference, but, uh, oh, wow. It's been a while since I saved. Yes. Hmm. Well, I guess that just gotta have to be the end of the Metroid this series. This is it. Through that way. So it looks like I'm not exactly holding true to my 100% playthrough promise that I said to do. You wow, were close. That's, that's which is a nice way of Johnny saying, which is a nice way of Johnny calling me at 4 o'clock in the morning telling me, Matt, I scrapped the playthrough. We're going to try this again next week. <laughs> no, weekend. we're not going to do that. <laughs> not with all the fun that we had this like. Uh, that was me like three years ago. I do that. Totally. Well, you know what you do. That was you just, three weeks ago. You do that. Was like, <laughs> why, don't, why don't you just go back later and record yourself getting the last item just to prove everybody? <laughs> or you know what? I can do you this. You can just watch my Nintendo Time play. Yeah, yeah. I, get I can that do this. Bomb expansion because I have proven repeatedly that I've gotten 100 percent infusion before. Uh, That's gonna stain your soul. Uh, so well, whatever. <laughs> You say, but eventually it's gonna get at you. <laughs> no it's gonna, no, it's gonna. Uh, the, if, if his perfect. soul was gonna be stained by anything, it was that uh, robot run. Yeah, the robot fight. <laughs> robot I was fight. Most, I was the most disappointed in. Uh, Which you still did great in that fight. Ah, eh, whatever. That's Metroid Fusion, ladies and gentlemen, available on the Game Boy Advance. Oh, it's on the Wii Virtual Console now too, along with Zero Mission, which finally came out. Yeah. Because uh, no, because that got out. That came out in like Japan and Europe for like the longest time on Wii U Virtual Console. We just got it. Like a month ago, yeah, just kind of. yeah, and like, well, what the fuck? And so, anyway, so this is the 30th anniversary for Metroid uh, Fusion. Not the only game I want to do for this channel for this year in celebration of that. So I'm thinking of doing Prime soon. Okay, um, I, I definitely want to, yeah, because I, I think it's time we get some 3D love for. And I, you know, I don't want to go to other M just yet. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, I don't want to go to other M at all. Uh, so <laughs> you got to go to other M. 
<laughs> oh, I have a saddle at Super Castlevania, but I gotta get sifted through other run. Oh, you're still asshole <laughs> about that, you poor little. Totally girl. butter. Oh, well, 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 next well, time, you know, hopefully, start, show to a fucking schedule. Hopefully, anyway. they'll make uh, a, another Castlevania called Other C for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. What, wait, what about Castlevania Rebirth? I was gonna say, what do you call it? Super C? I was like, wait a minute, that's already in the other country. Yeah. I think that's called um, Other blood, C. Bloodstained or something? Uh, uh, Bloodstained. Uh, whatever, I don't remember the uh, name of the subtitle. Not Symphony of the Night. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Requiem of the Darkness. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds edgy. <laughs> It'll sell D millions of copies. Diddy of Twilight. <laughs> it's got to be something music and something about night. So it's got to be the Diddy of Twilight. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, that about wraps it up, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. You have yourselves a fantastic night, and you take care.